I was told no, that I wouldn't make it out my first year at Virginia Military Institute, that I would never graduate. My best friend, he said, uh, there's no way that you'll make it. As a matter of fact, I'll bet you $1 you wouldn't get out your first year at VMI. I applied along with three other males in my class, and I was the only one that graduated. And he still owes me a dollar. When people tell me no, I definitely take it as a challenge, but in a great way. And so I always say, if you want to see me shine, you want to see me move mountains, just tell me that I can't do it. When I declared that I wanted to run for the House of Delegates seat in Prince William and Stafford, it was a resounding no that I couldn't run or I couldn't win. And so I said, I can show you better than I can tell you. And I'm sitting here as the Democratic candidate for the House of Delegates seat in the second district. I grew up with my grandparents and they instilled a serious sense of community in me that is really important to help those coming behind you and those less fortunate. As a foster parent, it is my job to protect my foster children, to ensure that they get the education and the necessities that they need to be contributing members to society. Just making sure that they are people who I'm proud of, that they go out and they make a difference. Those were the hopes and goals of my grandparents. I became an attorney because I believe in justice, fairness, and equality, and I wanted to represent people who wouldn't have a voice for themselves. It serves me to me uh, giving back, ensuring that those people around you are provided for, taken care of. Service always means helping others. We have to get down to Richmond. We have to get down to the House of Delegates. We have to make a change. And as a team, as a family, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it happen.